Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with the One Bit Clicker Jam. The One Bit Clicker Jam challenged developers to create a clicker game, or an idle game, or an incremental game using one bit only, the mouse as input, and eight bit chiptune sounds. I've been playing all of the games that were entered the jam for about a minute each. Links to the individual games will be in the description, so you can check them out further, and all my info will also be in the description, so you can check me out as well. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. At the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorite, so keep a lookout for that. Next, we're playing one bit minor. All right, so we can kind of click on these to mine them, and then click on the little fallen jewels to take them. And then we get money. Naturally. All right, let's do skills. I want to get more stuff. Buy for 50. All right. Oh, but they go up by a lot. Let's upgrade our pickaxe because I feel like it. Yeah, it's much faster. But it looks like it leaves behind some almost residue of old blocks. But we're getting our coins way faster than before. So. Start the next floor. I'm finishing up this one. All right. Let's buy some more skills. Strong caffeine. Nothing powers through the whole mine shaft. Think strong Joe. Um, sure. We have one more. We can upgrade our luck. All right. Next floor. Ah. Uh, so I need an even stronger pickaxe to one click this floor. Which I'm pretty sure I can get. Ah, it's still not strong enough to one click. It's a very nice game though. It's quite fun to click through. Next. We're playing Monochrome Ace. Alright, the left click to shoot. Shoot down as many enemies as possible. Okay. Alright, it's just like a little space a little space air shooter, I should say. Heat. Is that my gun cooldown? That's definitely my gun cooldown. I'm not very good at this game. The bullets are very, very tiny. Oh, I got hit. Simple game. I like the helicopter graphics. They look super nice. I have bigger ones with like almost flapping wings. And my gun overheated and now I can't shoot for a bit. Aww. Aww. Next. We're playing what if platformers were RPGs. Alright, so cost. We'll do some jump. Extra candidate, yep. Okay. I was super successful. Okay. Ah, oh, this one failed jump. This one didn't. Aw, that sucks. This one also failed. Let's give you a lot of motivation. Awesome. So, success. Okay. Good. Oh, there's music as well. I mean, it was a pretty bad jump. Extra jumper. No, I don't have enough. I was just hoping. I like the aesthetic of this game. It's very cool with its, like, reverse color on my main character. Wow, your jumps are really awful, guy. You should figure out your life. I like this bit up at the top that's not actually part of the game and is the banner, but I'm including it at the top of it. Success, yay. We got some fame. Success, yay. Go on, success. Jump, success. Oh shit, yeah, you should probably little jump though. Little jump, please. That guy failed. All right, this one successfully jumped though. Cool, next. We're playing Leafy Flora, a digital pet clicker. 
I'm gonna pick the plain egg. I don't really pick the spotted egg, but I feel like the plain egg might not be as desirable, so I'm gonna pick it. All right, so we're clicking on the egg, hoping it'll hatch. Man, this egg doesn't wanna doesn't wanna hatch yet. All right, lots of clicking. <laughs> A new creature has hatched. Oh, it looks like a little jelly type thing with a leaf on its head. Oh, Leafy. You're adorable, Leafy. I very much like you. I think we're going to be best friends. I don't actually want to change it, but I know I'm supposed to click it, so that's what I'm doing. And it's just sleeping. It's like, I don't want anything to do with you right now. I just want sleep. It's been a long day of crawling out of a shell, and it's hard for me. What's up? Leafy's beginning to like you. Oh, thank you. I like you too. I'm just clicking on you, but it seems like we have a great foundation for our relationship. <laughs> it's quite cute. Oh, this it's not going up anymore. Awkward. Maybe I'm not supposed to click it when it's asleep. Oh, I, yeah, that's the pause screen. Okay. Next. We're playing One Bit Village. Oh, so I have a person, and I guess he does stuff. Yeah, so I put him somewhere and he does stuff, so that's him taking over the forest, really. Um, we're quite hungry, though, so we should probably do farming. And then maybe sell some of our wood. We're selling our food. Alright, farming seems to be the best thing to do, then. Although... Bet you'll be out of food soon, so that's not good. Maybe this forest will make a good farm area. Oh, so like the farm sort of regrows. I feel less bad. That speeded up me clicking. The store also builds back up. Very interesting. Oh, you can build more stuff. Build in the market. Build a sawmill. I should probably build a sawmill. I find clicking to make it to be more fun. Gives wood for food, gives gold for good, gives one worker. Let's build a house. So now I have more workers. Well, potentially more workers? Do I have to stay here for a while to get more workers? No, okay, I'll just stay away from there. Oh, it costs money to have more workers. That makes sense. Graphically, this game's pretty cool. Um, so you can control where they go. Just forever work there. <laughs> Next. We're playing one bit cat clicker. Pick up the phone. Thanks again for cat sitting for me. She isn't too much trouble. Meow. Meow. Make sure to pet her. Oh, I left you a present on the table. Bye. Open the present. Okay. Oh. She won't let me, so. Purr, purr, purr. Alright, so it's a hairbrush. Okay. So we earn money if we... If we pet her, which is best to do while asleep. Okay, hi. Oh yeah, I had some guys come by today to install a new window. Don't worry about it. Bye. Don't worry about it. I just get money for clicking. Hello? Hello? Anybody here? Hello, I see you have a cat. Just in buying a cat-related product. I've got all sorts of items for sale. Did someone set up a shop in my house? Don't worry about it. I actually want to buy stuff, so... Oh, look at all this. We don't have enough money for anything. Wait, we have enough money for a cardboard box and also an auto brushing station. That's cool. Hey! Come back to the auto brushing station. That's a lot of money you're making. Thanks. Ah, I can come by and buy stuff. Fish food. I need to buy a fish, though. How about spend some of that money in my shop? I don't have enough for anything. I'm gonna eventually get a, uh, fishy. I 
This is a pretty neat game. Can you please stop slamming that window in my face? No. We have a, a blub. A fish to click. You can just click everything. No. Now the heat lamp price goes up quite a bit. I like this. Cool. <laughs> Next. We're playing Libra. Notice, this is a substantial cut version of the final game due to time constraints and poor planning on my part. Many elements have been modified in this version and it does not reflect the true quality of the final. I do hope you enjoy what it has to offer. Left mouse button interactive scene, right mouse, bu right, right mouse button to use held item, use, to use item select it from the item list, right mouse button on the last item, blah, 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 blah. You are inside dark mansion in hopes of avoiding the night rain. You are regretting that decision. The cabinet is locked. Alright, so we've got like a sort of map. Alright. The living room must look lonely if it was so dark you see a statue of a woman. That's not creepy. Heavy looking door has no handle. Okay. The front door is locked, but how? The doorknob has a keyhole, but why? It's locked. We've got lots of locked things here. Heavy looking door has no handle. It's a scale. You find that it's actually a scale, not a model. Try adding weight to it. Small box sealed on top. Statue's palm. It's sealed. There's no keyhole. I don't have anything in my inventory to add to it, though. I have this lamp. I have this plant. Up. Wait, wait. Let's go forward and up. The door on the right is locked. You can see the ceiling hatch, you can't reach it. The door on the left is a padlock. Padlock has no keyhole. Hmm. This seems like a very interesting concept, and it's got some pretty simple controls, uh, which make it really quite interesting, because you know everything you're able to do, I guess. I don't know where I was going with that compliment. Uh, <laughs> I just wish I was better at these types of games and knew what to do faster. Next. We're playing Giga Drill Clicker. Reach the surface. He looks so proud of his little drill. Click the drill. Ooh. Alright. So we're keeping it going quite fast. Ooh, we need drill minus 30. Alright. We get it back up. Booster. Booster minus 30. Alright, now we get two per click. Drill minus 40. Booster. Drill. Look at how big this drill is. Booster. Booster just gives us more room to click. It's a very simple game, but it's a nice animation to so sort of watch. Ooh. Game over, I was out I double clicked that by mistake. Darn it. Next. We're playing Nico Cafe Express is what it says. Clicker. Neo Cafe Express Clicker is what it says on the page here. It says coffee, who knows? Um so we click this guy and he says meow and makes us super popular so that we can then get money. Look at it. Pay me. So we've got some money. Uh, let's do attract power level two. And then we'll continue clicking. Oh, we have 1% popularity. We like we need to like raise the price of our drinks, but we need a prettier glass to do that probably, so we'll need a lot more money. <laughs> Which will take a lot more kisses probably. Kisses, a lot more meows. Come have some coffee. Look at all this stuff. I sort of like watching the people go in my cafe and thinking that they are ordering a drink and stuff and then coming out. The fact that the giant cat meowing on top of the building made them come in is hilarious. I really just want enough to get the prettier glass. Which we're nearly there. 
Come on, 60. Come on, 70. It seems like they spend about $5 per person. Yeah, they buy like one drink each. Okay. Look at now we can charge $7 per person. Awesome. Next. We're playing ENT. Welcome to ENT. You see that glowing pit there? That's a well. Give it a tap and you'll get some souls. Okay. Great job. Take a look at the different followers you can bring into the world. Each one does its own thing. Well, I can afford this one and this one. Slick work, bud. Keep on tapping that well if you want some more souls. Okay. Hey, good job. You just went up a level. You got a few miracles at your disposal now, just above my head. I've actually got quite a few. Alright, let's do increase the amount of souls harvested. Okay. I kind of want this one. But I don't really understand how to collect it. If one of your followers finds something interesting, tap near it and build a monument to attract others. Okay. Here's like... Oh, we don't have enough. Need more souls. Blobs breed at the alarming, <laughs> alarming rate. Okay. So we probably need more people to take on blobs. I can build you. Awesome. Do I have enough for anything? Oh, wait, 400. Alright, so we'll just wait until we get 500. Let's see you. Look at all of you guys are stronger. Ah, oh, nuts. Looks like one of your followers bit it. It's sad, but if you create a cleric, they'll collect the souls for you. Careful of that thunderstorm. Okay. Those lightning bolts will hurt your followers. I just want my people to go around and find cool things. I like this little guy that's like giving us a tutorial. I like the whole idea of making followers of souls in your well. There's just something weird and kind of cool about it. Ooh, I thought I'd scroll in game, but I have to like click and drag, I guess. I don't have enough. Alright, let's. Yeah, bam! Go over there. Cool. It's very interesting to see where everyone ends up. Next.